Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Right, I've got to do a repair on the bus here. The, the seam along the back is rusting. I've had to take one of the panels off already. I've got to get the other one off. It's blowing out in there. I don't think you can see it yet. Get in silhouette maybe. Anyway, I've got to get that part. Grind all this out. So it comes right down here. Down here, all along the gutter as well. Even though that bit there has got prepared previously, I didn't do it all the way along. That was a panel bit that did that. And I've got to do it myself because I didn't do it properly last time. And there you go, that's what the other side looks like. You can see the rust has been running down here, the liquid. It's blown out here. This is the bit I got prepared previously. And all I did is actually just fill over the top of it, I think. Because you can see it's all blown back out. And all this has got to come off. And then it runs right on the seam, as you can see there. And there's the silhouette of that it's blown out underneath. So, and there you go, that's where it's blown out. This is uh, pretty thick. So see here we go. I hope I don't have to weld any bits in because that'd be a bit inconvenient. But yeah, so it's right away across. So there's another seam like that towards the front, which I'm hoping doesn't go the same way. I've tried to make sure I've got sealant on stuff like that in the past to try and protect them, but there's no guarantees that works. Right, so I started grinding this back as you can see, and uh, trying to expose what the actual problems are here. So it's blown up here come off it's actually like skinning so I've got to try and grind this right back here over here is quite bad here as well and it's like there's obviously going to be more of that across the roof there as well but uh, it's going to just keep on going until the rust there is gone and um, this bit here was a bit which is sort of repaired previously and as you can see it's got a big hole there and a bit of filler in there still so all this needs to become be dug out properly and uh, rust treated again. It doesn't extend very far, thankfully. It's only just up to here. Um, so it's just that this little small area here and this seam. So I think it's actually not too bad. So once I think, once I fix all this other stuff, get that ground out, I'm basically going to flood this thing with um, rust killer and try and run it down the seam so it should run right down inside and that sort of stuff where the water's been going. Like up here as well. I might have to grind this back to get that right out there actually. We'll see how we go. Um, try and get the skillet right in there. There's obviously a, a skin. I've got the same over there too. That's the whole thing. So it's not taking too long so far. Only about 10 minutes so far. So let's see if we go. Here's my little grinder, and this is the disc I was using on it. It's like an abrasive disc. You can see it's basically all gone now. Basically used it all. Um, it's one of these things. Flex strip, stripping disc. Right. It worked really well. I wish I bought more of those. I bought one thinking that would probably be enough. And uh, no, it wasn't. I needed two. <laughs> so I'm going to have to probably buy another one tomorrow and maybe strip the other gutter. The other gutter's not stripped yet. But I don't know if it's actually that bad. I think it might be okay. Um, and obviously, this is the stuff I was using for the um, rust proofing stuff. You don't put the rust proof back in the bottle. You never ever put it back in because otherwise, you ruin the whole bottle. And this is what I ended up using in the end. That's the grinder that ran out was a cordless drill with a wire brush and I've gone through two batteries with that <laughs> and um, yeah, it's only barely done it that's flat right now I need to get another battery charged up all right so you can see I've ground it all back pulled the roof line right across the top and um, went back as far as I could until I got clean metal no rust and um, I can see I've already rust proofed it or rust killed it and I've traced it right down you can see the seam is right down here and this has had like a factory sealer in here. You can see it's like this. And I actually traced it all the way up the side. This is actually covered with sealer normally. And I, I just chased it all the way up until I got to good metal. Um, good metal stops about here somewhere. So um, I've so just kept it going because there's, there's a seam right here as well. So there's like double seams. Um, so I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Maybe you can. There's a seam there. And it's quite bad just here. And this bit here is all soaking wet still. So when I pulled it, all this off, I pulled that sealer up, it was all soaking wet. It was all wet inside here still with the sink. And it's been sunny all day. And it's now like four o'clock in the afternoon, evening, what you want to call it. So it's, um, that's obviously part of the problem is it's got water sitting in here. And that's what caused the problem. So I've absolutely soaked this. I've um, absolutely saturated it with rust killer. 
basically poured it on. So anywhere where it's got a little hole or a gap, it should have run into it and hopefully followed the same path the water normally pass, uh, water normally follows. And um, we've got some holes. So I've got the hole just here. It does go right through into the roof cavity. And just over there, you can see it's almost gone completely. You can see the lip where they overlap. And um, that's actually, uh, you know, you can see how much I've chased that back by and get rid of all the rust. So yeah, quite a bit. So hopefully the rust kill will do its job and it'll be okay. This gutter here, um, this bit here I had repaired previously by a panel beater. They cut because I had a hole right through it, the whole thing just rotted out. And I told them to do the whole gutter and they didn't. And I told them to do like from here, the whole thing all the way down. Whilst I had the window out and they're going to put a new piece in, this should just put a new piece right across. And um, they didn't do that and I just did that little piece. I didn't do what I told them, as it turned out. Um, I didn't realise about a month later when I looked at it, I realised there's still rust up here. I wasn't happy about that anyway. Um, this is why I'm doing it myself this time instead of giving it to them. So it's got a bit of rust just here, surface rust. It's probably got some underneath that sealer because it's got sealer inside this gutter as well. As you can see here, it's all sealer there and I've dug it out. I've dug it back to here. And um, that's where it started getting clean. Um, that's where the rust started disappearing is about there. So I've basically flooded all this with, with um, rust kill as well. And you know, used a wire brush on it and, and got all that right back. Um, this bit here might be okay. I haven't gone back with a wire brush on that but I'm, I'm actually scared of what I'm going to find. I might find this is a lump of bog. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking it back to that panel beater. So, you know, as at most things, if you want a good job, do it yourself. So, um, I've just dug this out. It seemed okay down this seam. I just want to dig it out just to be sure. It was actually okay. It was cracked. But um, I've patched this up previously myself. I've already repaired this before myself. And it, it, it didn't seem to be bubbled at all. And I, so it's, it's still black underneath. No kinds of flaking or any rust within the actual seam just here on the surface. So I think the bit I repaired previously on here is actually okay. So, yeah. It's a fun job. I'm not happy with the panel beaters didn't do a good job, but anyway, that's why I'm doing it myself now. Fun. So I don't know if you can see that up there. I'm trying to get a bit closer for you. Unfortunately, a bit short. But you can probably see the seam in silhouette there, hopefully. And um, right there, there's actually a hole at the top there, so you can see I've ground that back. I probably need to run that, drawing it right down and follow it right down. I have repaired this side previously myself as well, so it might actually be okay. There's no signs of rusting or bubbling at that point. Where I've already done that with myself before, but there is some rusting on this gutter here, just here, and um, this is just here showing up too, and on the end. So I'm actually thinking I might have to pull that sealant out of that gutter again, dig all that out, and make sure that's all clean too. But I can't do much more right now. Yeah, fun job. All right, so I started filling it. You can see I've done there, and that's got to uh, do some more in here, get this a bit smoothed out more. And in here as well, just to build it up slightly more. This stuff I'm using actually is like a fiberglass one, which isn't actually what I wanted. I wanted a smoother one. So this could be a bit of a pain to sand back, and it may not even come up that smooth in the end. So we'll see how we go with that. I might have to put another skim over the top, but anyway, I picked off the um, like the excess silicon over the sides of the join. I really only put the silicon on there really to um, stop stop worrying about the rain coming in last night. It didn't rain in the end. And, Thankfully, so I've actually basically just gone over that with the white brush and taken the slicker back off again, most of it. But um, there's still some bits there which are filling some holes. But basically, don't rely on the filler to do the job now. Hope it does. So, there we go. Sand it back, and that part's painted. But unfortunately, this bit here it hasn't gone off yet, it's still soft. Also, I didn't put enough hardener in it, so I'm have to wait a day or so for this to go off. If it doesn't go off, I'm have to put another coat over it. But, um, I did try sanding it, but it's just no, it's just too soft. It's just togging up the paper. And this bit here was a little paint over as well, which is some general little rust spots. I just sort of ran the brush over with the anti rust stuff, so it's a bit messy now. Sanding is fixing. But uh, at least the main piece there is done. Uh, nice thick coat of uh, primer and of uh, top coat. It's not a great finish. I had to rush it because I only you know, had like a few hours to get this done. So it's not sanded back perfectly, I mean, you can still kind of see, maybe you can see it on the other note, but you can maybe see edges and stuff, but, so it's not perfect, it's not as good as I normally like to do, but 
it's on top of the, the bus. It's going to be underneath the solar panel. No one's ever going to see it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. But I need to get this bit here nice. These, these sides have to be nice. The other side is, is good. This side needs more work here. Alright, so I've uh, sanded this bag back now. What I ended up doing it right to the day and it was still not quite hard. It's still slightly soft. So what I've done is I just put another layer of bog over the top. So the other stuff was hardening. But um, obviously I didn't put enough hardener in there, so it was a very slow process. I didn't have time to uh, give it a chance to take its time. So what I've done now is I've bogged this out again with the new stuff. I sanded it back, you can see it's kind of rough. I'm going to sand it back a little bit more, I think, and then I'll clean it up with a bit of towel, get the dust off, and then I can put a primer over it. And go from there, I've got this other stuff here to clean up. Got to paint that too. All right, there you go, painted. Not wonderfully, you know, it's all covered up at least. And you can see where the strip was, maybe just there, you might be able to see a slight high spot where the filler is. So, you know, all done. Um, I should really clear cut this too. I do have some clear coat. Um, we'll see how we go. The weather right now is turning a little bit. So I'm not going to be doing any more painting tonight. Hopefully it doesn't rain. But, um, it's fairly dry really. Should be okay. I painted over the bloody LED strip, but you know, I could bother taking it off. I'll go next time. Anyway, get in there. And it's family.